This week on Warriors and Company. If the president asks you to suggest what he should say, to send him a draft of what he should say about climate change in his upcoming State of the Union message, what would you urge him to do? I would ask him to do two things. Um, one is to say, I have consulted with the nation's leading climate scientists, including the National Academy of Sciences, which exists to uh, guide the nation on science and science policy. And they all tell me, all of them tell me, that this is real, that it's human caused, it's a serious problem, but that we have the solutions in hand to do it. So one, I would want him to carry that message. But the second thing I would like to hear him say is that this issue has to stop being a partisan issue. Okay? The climate, the Earth's climate does not care whether you are a Democrat or a Republican. It doesn't care whether you're liberal or conservative. Sandy did not only destroy the homes of Democrats and not Republicans. The terrible drought that has gripped the Great Plains and our nation's breadbasket has not only gone after liberal farmers and ranchers, it's gone after all of us. The point is that climate change will affect all Americans, no matter what your political beliefs, your religious beliefs, your race, class, creed, etc. Okay? And in the end, the only way we're going to deal with this issue is if we come together as a country and have a serious conversation, not about is it real, but what can we do about it. Okay? And I think that the, the, the effort to try to depoliticize this issue, so it doesn't just become this knee-jerk um, identity politics. I'm a Democrat, therefore I believe in climate change. I'm a Republican, therefore I think climate change is a hoax. This is crazy. Okay? The, I mean, again, the climate system doesn't care.